my name is uh, Josipa Vorgic and I come from Croatia. And my name is Mateja Miloloja and I'm, I'm also from Croatia. Well, I think that we could have more workshops and more public campaigns. I think that we, we have to take the both approaches. So we have to take both, both the top-down and bottom-up approach. Uh, well, um, in my personal experience and opinion, definitely. Because, of course, when you work on the uh, European level or international level, you get uh, so many uh, valuable experiences uh, from uh, different people because there are a lot of trainers uh, who, had, uh, who have, uh, I would say, similar situation in their countries, like in Croatia. So for us, it's a great input uh, and uh, a great guide uh, what could we do in our country. But of course, uh, every national, original, local situation is specific. So basically, uh, we really appreciate that we are now here because we are developing the tools that we are then going to adjust and to implement to the uh, specific needs of uh, the groups that we are going to target in our workshops back home in Croatia. Uh, on the good path to become uh, one uh, group uh, that is really cohesion and uh, I think the most important thing is that they are including young people so that they can uh, share their experience to uh, people from their own I think that the most important uh, thing is to work with youth. I know, we, we know because young people are future, and it's it's not just a, a sentence that is vague. It, it really is so because if young people are aware, they are. I would say, uh, especially in this uh, new generation and in this new digital society, uh, young people have the most prominent voices, and I think that they are able to bring the real change. Because somebody has to. Somebody has to be aware, so that we can be. Uh, we have to be aware, and we have to be active. And it is the base, base, base of everything that is uh, doing on uh, increasing the social cohesion. We have, I would say, that uh, in Croatia, at least uh, the eastern part of Croatia, where we come from, uh, the Osic region. Uh, I would say that there are a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles that have to be addressed. Uh, for example, um, we could uh, give uh, Roma people as an example or also uh, Serbian minorities because uh, many of them they are excluded, uh, they are marginalized, they are even ostracized and uh, this happens on, uh, in so many fields of life. So this happens in everyday life on street, uh, in education, in the media. Uh, and uh, there are already uh, certain organizations which are trying to address these issues. But I think that uh, uh, our, uh, I would say, personal goal uh, was, uh, and, uh, the, I would say, the reason why we wanted to participate in uh, this activity, in uh, this exercising our rights training course, uh, was to uh, do something on our own, uh, to actually to actively participate in trying to change that situation uh, to, to to better situation, so for Roma and for Serb people in our region, because we really would like to promote the values of tolerance and these values of social cohesion, and uh, we are really glad for being here in Brussels because we think, as far as we have seen now, uh, social cohesion here really works. So we, we are looking forward uh, to applying all the good practices and all the tools we are going to learn here in our local and regional community. Uh, I just want to say, be active and be creative. That's my message. I would just maybe like to add always to be open-minded. Yes. Definitely, because if you have open mind, and if you are creative at the same, at the same time, just the sky is the limit.